honey. These are gonna be so good. We are left with the best looking cookie dough. Hey y'all, it's Short and Stone, but if you're new here, you can call me Kelly. I'm a Canna advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. On today's episode, I am going to be baking while baked and making my fiance some oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. But first, let's bake myself. Since it is a stony Sunday here in our household, I'm going to be enjoying a garden bevy, some uh, gummies, and a couple rips. Cheers! Ooh, that's really good. Also, it's football Sunday. Oh my god. Can't <laughs> tell, baby! Woo! Cheers! Oh my fatty. <coughs> all right, I'm going to gather all of the ingredients and necessities to get started. I'm gonna let these kick in and I will see you back here in a little bit. <coughs> a few moments later. All right, I have got my ingredients and as you can see, my KitchenAid. Let's take a few more swigs of my mellow drink and we can start baking. Alrighty, pro tip, if you're waiting for your butter to melt or soften up, stick it in your apron pocket. We're gonna start by creaming our butter, our sugar, and our vanilla. All right, we're gonna do a half cup of butter. I only have a little bit of stick, so we'll start with that. That's not what we wanted. All right, let's do the rest of our butter. All right, three quarter cups of brown sugar. If your brown sugar is solid like a rock, another baking tip, use a fork. I'm full of all these random baking tips, okay? All right, next we move on to a cup of white sugar. And now a little bit of vanilla. I always eyeball vanilla. It's better to add extra than not enough. And now we mix. Oh, it would help if I turned it on. Now we mix. Next, we have flour. Three quarter cups. If you don't have a leveler for your dry ingredients, I definitely suggest you get one. Next, you're gonna remove the kitten from your counter, a quarter cup of water, and a half teaspoon of baking soda. Now's for the fun part, a cup of oats. Oh my God, I forgot to preheat the oven, Lord. Okay, yeah, I guess I'm, guess I'm feeling medicated. Don't forget to preheat your oven. That's pretty, that's pretty important, okay? Oops. All right, where were we? A cup of oats. And a half cup of chocolate chips. They're big chocolate chips, so I'm gonna add a few extra. You yes, asked chocolate chip never hurt no one. Honey, these are gonna be so good. Oh my gosh, we are left with the best looking cookie dough. I can't get this off. I'm confused. How many stone people does it take? For? Oh, I got it. All right, now it's time to dish it out. Let's make some cookies. I've got to take my rings off. My pretty engagement ring. I'm going to use two spoons, and then after they're done cooking, I'm going to use the cup hack to make them more circular. Hi Yuki, you wanna watch me make some cookies? So 
Okay, you know what? We're definitely gonna get more than a dozen cookies. We're at nine right now. Bevy. Oop, the oven beep. That means the first round can go in. Now it's time to clean up. Ooh. Well first, let's take one more grip. We're going to let those bake for about 12 to 15 minutes. We'll, we'll, we'll see what I like. I'm going in on some velvet cake this fine afternoon. Oh my God, it just falls right in there. I love this. <laughs> this is such a cool rig. So now while the cookies are baking, so are we. Cheers. Wow. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> Excuse me. It's so efficient, so efficient. <coughs> All right, I'm going to clean up. I'll see you back here in a bit. Cheers. A little longer than a few minutes later. Cookies are ready. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll leave the other ones in there a little bit longer, but let's top the ones out with these. All right, let's pop these with some chocolate chips. Actually, I don't think these need chocolate chips anymore. I'll put one on top because I don't think they need too many. You know, it's just kind of like an extra thing. All right, let's get a cup. I'll show you my chips. You did not see that. This is the second pan. We got some cookies. Look at these, come here. <gasps> Let's do a little taste test. Mmm, wow, that's good. Especially with the chocolate. I feel like these would be so good in the air fryer reheated up. guys thanks for tuning in to this week's baking well baked episode make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of content and make sure to comment to keep the conversation going and if you're feeling up to it subscribe if you'd like to sesh and hang out more with me i upload videos every thursday and saturday so i'll see you real soon peace And if you didn't hear it yet today, I appreciate you. Bye.